Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. Here we find ourselves yet again, ladies and gentlemen. We're now neck deep in Season 4 of My Hero Academia, and good lord, young Midoriya is going to be uh, doing his hero study, and he's going to be working with All Might's former, uh, former sidekick, who looks to be very intimidating. Like, the past little bit, this show has taken some weird turns, because we had a bunch of miners get beat up by a naked guy that can pass his body through them who is also a minor like yeah he, he literally like physically put some of his body parts through their body parts which seems weird penetration um and then bubble girl got strapped to some sort of like bondage rack and like tickle tortured for not being funny enough in a report so, so i mean i know a joke about it being a harem anime but like it's getting kind of weird well of course it's a harem anime i mean everybody wants midori i mean a lot of them do i mean yeah it's a pattern Including Bakugo now. It's a pattern. I mean, something. Everybody's obsessed with that little dude. Yeah. Everybody loves him. By the way, when we say it's a harem anime, we're joking. Do people, Stop taking do shit people, so seriously. Do people not understand that? Like, uh, it, they think they think we're being serious, and I've had to re- clarify multiple times. It's a joke. What, Get over yourself. What about any of this format do people take seriously? <laughs> you, my, <laughs> my, my dude, you have no idea some of the weebs. Like... People Ultra weeaboos. So pissed about us, like just saying, like one thing we noticed about Avatar, like so pissed. Yeah. Uh, and again, unsubscribe from the channel, apparently. And okay. again, don't care. Seek life elsewhere. I mean, I still Stay like. I still really like the show. It's just some stuff I feel like could be handled better. I mean, mm-hmm. I love Lord of the Rings, but those movies, like, I think there's some stuff that could be handled better. I mean. Where was Tom Bombadil? I don't know. Do you? I want to know where Tom Bombadil was. Anyway, we're going to get into this episode now. Are you ridiculing All Might? They're both going to be like weird All Might fanboys or something. Like, and they're going to be best friends. What? Did we just become best friends? Yeah. Yep. You attempted this blasphemous excuse of an impression on All Might's former sidekick. All Might's wrinkles aren't like this at all, you fool. <gasps> In his early days, his crow's feet were 0.6 centimeters long. Damn. From this, every corner of his office is filled with All Might gear. He's a nerd. <gasps> the 10th anniversary poster that was never on sale for the public. I want it. You can see yourself out. The Vinegar River incident. Are you not aware of it, sir? Oh. Help me! A middle schooler whose quirk allowed him to change the properties of water was drowning in a river. The drowning kid panicked and accidentally turned the river into vinegar, which obviously ended up getting in All Might's eyes. His face looked slightly different from normal after. Dang the stings! That's the look I chose to impersonate earlier! Hmm. I know this rescue, although it took place before I teamed up with him. Honestly, I think the best part of the whole thing is the witty response he gave after being thanked by the kid he rescued. I can't thank ah, you enough. Ah, ah, I'm the one who should be thanking you. My skin feels ten years younger. That's it! We'd need to draw up a contract. Of course, yes, I brought one. You will not interrupt me while I'm speaking to you. Sorry, sir. Once I stamp this document, you'll officially be contracted with my agency for a work study. Stamp. You missed. Because I am not approving this. What? This office currently runs smoothly with two sidekicks and one work study student already under my employ. So why would I add you on? How can you contribute to society? It's time to show me what you would bring to the table. Three minutes. You have three minutes to try and take this seal from me. If you want to work as a hero under my guidance, then stamp that contract yourself. The two of you, go wait outside. I'll take no offensive measures during this time, and you're welcome to attack me in any manner you desire. Don't concern yourself with what happens to the room. Just come and get it. One for all, all coming! An approach from the front, but it's merely a feint and a failed grab. And then another jump attack to no avail. I can see everything. I knew it! Mm. Is that all you've got? One minute passes. He backs up briefly. And appears nervous. 
finally understanding that he can't overcome my foresight. After touching someone and locking eyes with them, he has the power for the next hour to see the choices that person will make. Oh. It's like he knows their every move! You have the power to become a symbol, but you're mediocre. Meanwhile, villains everywhere are getting restless and gloom is creeping closer. All Might chose wrong after all. How can you succeed him? I guess I never really thought about it. But of course there were candidates before me. You think you have time to stand there frozen? Or are you just getting tired, running out of ideas? I have to keep fighting! I'll go beyond! So he can't react even if he can foresee my movements! He chose me! He wanted me to have his power! I'm going to take that stamp from you! I swear! I will make you acknowledge me! My best bet is to make a ton of different moves as quickly as I can so he won't have any time to think! If I leave now, it's like admitting he was right! Gran Torino style. But you're a mere shadow of the original. For the next hour, provided the conditions are met, I can see what you'll do wherever you go. Two minutes from now, you'll be slumped on the floor with neither the seal nor the contract. <sighs> You've looked unsure since this trial began. Fear and indecision are luxuries a top-tier hero cannot afford. You must have been told this countless times. But now, when your training's being put to the test, you choke. She said I can do it! Who said that? One of your little friends? The greatest hero the world has ever seen! Sorry! But you did say not to worry about the room, right? Why did he word it that way? What exactly is Night Eye seeing? Everything that's going to happen? Or only the actions of a specific target? Me! Time to test my theory! Whether you like it or not, I am all my successor! That doesn't alter what I see. Not yet! Oh! Gross. I'm not done. Three minutes have passed. What? Your All Might's chosen successor? It beggars belief. You devised only a single plan, and it failed spectacularly. Didn't botch this test because I'm tired. Then what happened? I realized I was about to step on the poster. He was in constant motion, jumping as Gran Torino would. And yet he still managed to avoid every image of All Might in the room? And you are well-timed return! You're done, right, sir? That loud bang at the end sounded pretty final! I'll take the boy, Mirio. That's awesome! What? I didn't say you'd be rejected if you failed. Yeah, but... Congrats, Midoriya, you pulled it off! I had already decided I would take you on when I heard you were coming. I also knew that you weren't entirely lacking in skill and intellect, but I still wanted to see it for myself. Regardless of All Might's mandate, you are not worthy of his power. One for all can only be transferred through the will of its current user. <clears throat> He's taking me on to make me give up. He believes that Togeda should have been selected instead. Oh. It makes for an unsettling dynamic. But even so, I look forward to working with you! Congratulations, I think that was the Deku? point of contention That's between awesome. All Might Indeed. and well uh, done, Midoriya. Night Eye. Yeah, you'll be working at Sir Night Eye's agency. That's seriously amazing. And I hear Togeda recommended you. Pretty impressive, man. Um, yeah, I guess. Tokoyami, looks like you've got an offer from one of them. Hawks has invited you to work with him in Kyushu. No way! Dude, he's the number three hero! That's awesome! Whoa, good job! I respectfully accept. All right, then. Also, Kirishima, apparently Amajiki from the Big Three wants to talk <coughs> to you about something. <laughs> he wants me? Uraraka and Asui, you've got your own Big Three summons from Hado. You can track him down sometime tomorrow or whatever. That's all for now. No! I'm going over to the third year's dorm right now. <laughs> I don't think I can wait either. Damn Let's it. go with him. We've really, really got Just shut up! <laughs> Why don't you tell us of those guys. We'll just have to work harder. Today we will be doing patrols and surveillance. We'll split up into two teams. Shie Hasaikai is a small organized crime syndicate. Oh. That's Kai Chisaki. As the young head of the group, he's its second in command. The details are unclear, but we do know he made contact with the League of Villains recently. Hasaikai operates in a legal gray area that's close to black, but we can't treat them like villains. Our objective is to tail them and find out what they're up to. Be careful not to arouse any suspicion. Please! <laughs> oh, I'm 
sorry. You really took a tumble there. <laughs> Why is she trembling like that? You should be more careful. Uh, uh, we don't want to cause trouble for the heroes. And just like that, my work study. Let's go home, Mary. Had begun. It's like first day out. It's like we're looking for this guy. He's been causing trouble. All right, let's find him. First day out, finds him. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Oh God. So yeah, I figured. I figured that. It was gonna be a test in some way, and it was just gonna, and you know, he's gonna have the whole reveal. It's like, you know, I plan to accept you, even though, you know, even without knowing your abilities. I just wanted to test you on uh, on this, but then all of a sudden, he was just like, I wanna, I wanna bring you in, just so I can make you give up. I'm gonna ruin this whole man's career. Exactly. <laughs> this guy's like a Twitter mob, but um, I think that's the point of contention between All Might and Night Eye, is that Night Eye had Mirio, like, selected, picked out, had everything that All Might, you know, aspired for in the the next one to inherit, uh, one for all. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, yeah. One, uh, all, all of a sudden, he's just like, no, I'm giving it to this one child here. And then Night Eye was just like, you're stupid, old man, and I'm going to prove it. <laughs> what was that Spongebob meme? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Hi there, young people. Nice day, isn't it? <laughs> He's going to kick my butt! <laughs> I remember that episode. <laughs> God. Uh, but, yeah, Mirio... Uh, Mirio seems to have a, a good amount of faith in Midoriya. I think it's because he sees what Midoriya is capable of from their interaction they had at the end of last season. And now he's he's pretty much just like, okay, let's see if my boss will take him in. And lo and behold, his boss took him in. But I think Mirio is still in the dark about... Yeah. <clears throat> of course he is, because who would, like... like why would why would anyone tell him that before? Well, it's not that's not exactly a secret you want to go around telling a whole bunch of people anyway. Yes, I mean that. That's just, and I'm afraid that the secret's just going to get out and it's going to be revealed, and eventually Midori is just going to be like, I'm not really going to give it to anybody right now. I'm kind of content with still being a hero, mm -hmm. but in the future, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really know like a hundred percent of what's going to happen, but I, but you know, after what happened to the League of Villains in those last couple episodes, I mean, that one dude got deleted. I mean, yeah, it's kind of like League of what? Who? <clears throat> like, <laughs> exactly. That's, that's my whole thing because they weren't at full strength. They were still missing several of their big members. Yeah, but I mean... But just, they still got their asses pummeled. Yeah, based on what I've seen, it seems like uh, the Shie Hasaika is where it's at. Yeah, they seem to have... Well, they, they have good leadership. That's the big thing that they have. And also, terrifying abilities. That one dude just touch, just explodes. Like, holy hell. Well, no, no, no. No, the the bullet took his powers away. Yeah, I thought com compress. He lost his. He was gonna. He was gonna trap Chisaki, but they shot him before he could get to him and squish him into a ball. Yeah, that's because uh, the bullets took away the. I think it's pretty much like a power nullification bullet. It's almost like a tranquilizer dart. Like they package Izawa in a cartridge and just you. God, you're right. Uh, imagine if that's the if that's the secret. Like we we were able to secure DNA from the, like magnifying glass. It's like in a little sleeping bag. I don't care. Just leave me out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, he's like, oh god, where am I? It's too warm. I don't like this. <laughs> god, but I don't. I <clears throat> like I said. There's so many questions I have. <clears throat> that little girl at the end of uh, and that. After credits, I'm wondering what the hell her deal is. I mean, she's in the intro, she, so... Yeah, she is. That's the thing. Huh. 
Well, I mean, she's obviously a pretty important part. And I'm wondering... I, I'm wondering what her, what her deal is. And I'm wondering why, you know, uh, the the doctor's doctor's mask guys after her well i mean she was running away and then he was like let's go you're home. trembling so i'm guessing she's probably a hostage yeah probably i wouldn't doubt it but uh, i guess we're just gonna have to see so all right ladies and gentlemen mess with up if, uh, what's up Well, he knows what that guy looks like. Yeah. He's not going to let him do that well, because he knows he's a criminal. Well, didn't didn't Night Eyes because he said like, "Hey, this is Chisaki. We're only supposed to observe right now." Yeah, and I'm thinking he's going to follow uh, where he's taking her, and thus is going to be pretty much just like in the middle of everything. <laughs> and then Mario is going to come in and save him. Night Eye's going to chew him out, and then Night Eye's going to launch an operation to get that girl out, and that's going to be one of the big battles of the season, I think, for the first half. Because <clears throat> there's usually two really big battles that occur in every, se- er, in every season that's been 26 episodes so far. Season 2 and Season 3 both had their respective battles or tournament arcs, you know, and I think this one's going to be no different. I think in this one, we're gonna have like the big battle with uh, with the uh, yakuza, and then of course I don't know what the second half's gonna be. I I really don't know. I mean, hell, <clears throat> it might just be one big battle with uh, the yakuza. I don't know. Just all depends. So, and everybody, I guess uh, it's gonna do it for this. This was uh, My Hero Academia, Season 4, Episode 3. If you all enjoyed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to stay notified. And if you want to see more, head over to our Patreon. Uh, Feel free to check that out. And until next time, everybody, signing off. I'm Nate. Micah. We'll see you then, everybody. Peace out. Do we become best friends? Yeah. Yep.